Some dickhead parked in our driveway. Some bloody falcon driver. So? I'm a, I'm a falcon owner now. <laughs> $500 banger though. Everybody sing along. The green truck finally sold. We brought it in here, removed the 18RG, chucked the original 2P back in it. All the spares are loaded up in here, ready to go. Spare glass, the grills, the bumper. The uh, spare wheel. 2P. Sad to see it go. But it's for a good cause. It's going to a good home, I think. And it'll be nice to see somebody do something with it instead of it just sitting here. Um, be nice having that space back. And now I can actually make a start on this and hunt for a, a good falcon to get a barrow out of. Well, that's it. The truck truck's gone. The little truck truck is gone. I'm a bit sad. I'm a bit sad. I always get sad when I sell a car. I get really attached to them. I just helped them load it in the rain. The rain was making it pretty dramatic. It was pretty, uh, pretty depressing already. I'm gonna miss that truck. I'm a, I'm a falcon owner now. <laughs> You're part of a dickhead club. Truck's gonna go so good. Yes, it's true folks. I am now a bogan. No, not really. Green truck is gone. Um, a friend of mine came and picked that up. He bought it. He's gonna stick an LS in it or something silly, which is gonna be awesome. He has a YouTube channel if you wanna follow it. It's um, El Jefe's Chop Shop. I'll have a link uh, in the description for you there. He does some pretty cool stuff. But anyway, he got the little green truck and he's gonna be playing around with that. But now that I have the space here, I've cleaned up out, outside here. So I just need to finish clearing this. I have cleaned up a lot already. Probably doesn't look it because you didn't really see the before. But uh, yeah, a lot of it is now out the back here. A lot of it was just random panels. I'm trying to find where to store random panels and stuff is um, actually quite challenging. But this is where I've put everything. So I just built a little rack here out of pallets just to store all the uh, RA40 doors, any other door underneath, all the RA40 bonnets and boot lids and, and hatches are there, RA40 guards, other make and model guards other make and model bonnets and boots, um, valances and, and, and cow panels are hanging up. Yeah, so I'm slowly sorting stuff. I just gotta finish cleaning in here. Um, get this crate out the way that my wife's building. Then we can bring the Falcon in and pull the running gear out. The Falcon I got runs like a bag of dicks. I only paid 500 bucks for it though. And it was literally around the corner, so I can't complain. Yeah, the only issue is it's uh, it's got a bit of a misfire and it doesn't doesn't not like full throttle at all. I suspect it's coils. Went to my local Sprint and got a box of coils here um, and some new spark plugs as well. Just going to replace all that today and make sure this thing runs sweet before I start stripping it. Caught up in the 
can't flip between his brain and his tail And if time's elimination, then we got nothing to lose Please repeat the message, it's the music that we choose Keep them out Done. Now we take it for a spin. Wicked. Hey, this runs mint. <laughs> this is already idling better, I can tell. I'm gonna let it warm up and we'll uh, we'll take it for a spin. Go, hop in. Right, there's uh, not really anywhere good to mount the GoPro. Um, so hopefully, I mean, it's pretty sturdy. We'll, we'll just leave it there and see how we go. Uh, this is already idling heaps nicer, so we'll see uh, see how it goes. And we'll see how it shifts too. The brakes are fucking dodgy. The brakes are super dodgy. I think there's something wrong with the ABS thing. This is just way too modern for me. <laughs> you know what, this drives really smoothly. I'm pretty bloody impressed. That's so cool. All I had to do was change the coils and spark plugs and it runs like a fucking new car. <laughs> uh, 500 bucks. 500 bucks and it was around the corner. It was literally literally two streets over. Fourth street is opposite us and they were on third street. This runs so good now. Man, the truck is gonna go really well with one of these motors. All right, overall pretty impressed with it for a $500 banger. Um, I mean, after changing the coils, it idles smoothly. It's, it's got balls. It's definitely gonna have more power than, uh, than this little 5R. And I do think there's plenty of space under here to fit this. I reckon, I reckon it'll fit. If not there, if not cutting through here and making a tunnel, I reckon back there it'll at least fit. I uh, have two options for this thing, um, which I'm sort of tossing up the pros and cons of both. First being I could tow a car trailer with this. If I just shorten the tray a bit, make it a little bit stubbier so it doesn't have so much overhang, I could um, tow with this easily. The only bad thing about that is car trailer will take up more room in the yard, which I'm trying to uh, free up some space. The other option is to make this into a car carrier by beaver tailing the rear end. And uh, I'm not sure if that's something I can do or not yet. I'm gonna have to talk to a few people. I'm gonna ask around and find out. Worst case, worst case I have to tow a trailer to, to move cars around. Um, but either way, I think the motor from this thing is definitely going to go very well in this thing. That's it for now guys. You might have to wait a couple weeks until we take the cab off and start playing around with fitting this motor. So, uh, catch us later. Now it's filming. So I don't do anything stupid or you're on camera.